Well, thank you, Penelope. Welcome back, friends, to this week along the journey. This week we're along Town Center Drive here in Clemens, North Carolina, and I am about to enjoy a wonderfully delicious cup of mountain blackberry frozen yogurt. For those of you from this area, you know exactly where I am. You've probably been here. But if you're not, let me tell you, I am at Sweet Frog Premium Frozen Yogurt in Clemens. Sweet Frog, how can you forget that? What a catchy name, right? Did you know there's more to the name than meets the eye, though? When we look at what it means, we obviously have sweet, that makes sense. All the treats are sweet here. But did you know that frog actually stands for fully rely on God? It's an acronym, and it's a testament to having full faith and trust and confidence in God. What a, what a testament that all of us could and should live by on a daily basis. And Sweet Frog, we're very grateful, lives this out in the way that they are good neighbors in our community. Well, this week in your journey curriculum, Green Year, Section 3, Unit 2, we continue in our study of the theology of God. We looked at Father last week, and we're looking at the second person, Son, or Jesus Christ this week. And we're going to look behind the meaning of another name. Now, in a very similar, uh, but obviously much more eternally significant way, the name of Jesus is rich in meaning. There's so much behind it that we find in Scripture. Quite literally, Jesus or Yeshua means to rescue or to deliver. Our Savior, our Rescuer, our Deliverer. Of course, he's also in Scripture uh, to be called Emmanuel, God with us, which is a nod to his, his two natures of fully God and fully human, 100% both, in order that he might be able to rescue us and save us. Also a nod to Colossians chapter 1, verses 15, that says that he is the image of the invisible God. We, of course, see his titles and names behind his titles, Messiah, the Anointed One, preordained in order that he may come to serve and to seek and to save. And then lastly, what we're going to spend a lot of time on this week, we see the idea of Jesus being prophet, priest, and king. And so three, three takeaways this week. The first is just that. Dig into the name of Jesus. Absorb it. Look at how it is laid out for us in Scripture and what, what is, the, what is the, applica the implication, I guess, behind it each. And when we look at prophet, priest, and king, what do we learn in terms of our response to Jesus and his titles and his names? Secondly, the idea that Jesus is Lord, an implication of lordship, kingdom authority, in the accountability section. How are we doing in all of the areas of our life laying over to his lordship? Are we humbly submitting all aspects of our life to Jesus being Lord? Reflect on that. Take some time to look through those questions on accountability. And then lastly, really a logistical detail, we are nearing the holidays. Uh, have your group talk about your meeting schedule. Uh, talk about if you're having a service project. Uh, if you're gonna do the 21 days of worship, the material is in the community room, so you wanna pick that up, plan for that. And then as we go this week, I am prayerful that we would all walk in the power and the awesomeness and the majesty of the name of Jesus and may it be a very sweet, sweet frog week along the journey. Blessings, friends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs>